The new artistic director of Christian Dior, Maria Grazia Curie, is the first ever woman to take the helm of the French couture fashion house. She's a woman with great style. She's a cool woman. I mean, you just... And she's designing for women who exist. You know, I think every woman sits in the... In, in the benches on that, at that show and recognises something of themselves and thinks, yeah. yes, I can wear that. And I love the, the sort of femininity, the ethereal meets the robust, the, the sort of romantic sheer skirts and the sweater on top. They're just, it's just beauty that doesn't try too hard. When I read here, the, the, the first things that everybody said to me that is um, Dior is about femininity. And so I think, I said, OK. Uh, but uh, we had to speak about the women now. In her first show, she made a statement taken from the title of a book by the outspoken Nigerian author, Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie, We Should All Be Feminists. So that sort of feminist ideology is something that you will continue I in the brand. I, I, I think feminists in, at the hand speak about equal opportunity. I have a daughter, but I have a son. I hope that they has in the future the same opportunity in life. Um, to speak about feminism is about that, um, no more. She was formerly part of one of the industry's most successful design duos, working alongside Pier Paolo Piccioli at Valentino. The art is different. In any case, it's a French house, so it's a, it's a different town. Everything is different for me. I was at the beginner just a little bit worried because the dimension and also the language is not my language. In any case, it's not my culture. Um, it's a good uh, test for myself. She's now preparing her latest runway show, 68 looks which make up the autumn winter ready to wear collection. The idea is about the uniform. You can choose your personal uniform. Uniform is something unbelievable because uh, speak about equality, but you can choose uh, what is right for yourself. Uh, and you, because protect also yourself, the uniform. Sometimes uh, with a simple jeans, uh, simple, you feel more confident. I mean, another time you decide that your uniform could be also a beautiful dreaming dress. It depends. There's always been a feminine influence at Dior but it was still a very big deal to have the top job at the fashion house to go to a woman. If you see, we have a, an iconic picture where you see Monsieur Dior with all his staff, and most of them were women, you know, for in the atelier, in the commercial, in the PR. And still today, we have more than 70% of the staff is a woman. And in our ma managing committee, the majority are women, so I'm surrounded by women. <laughs> I discovered a new world in some way, um, and I have to learn many things, because in any case, there is a huge uh, tradition and your heritage. Uh, probably, in any case, uh, when I was in Valentino, I worked there for 17 years. I worked with the founder. It's a completely different story than Dior. On February 12, 1947, Christian Dior showcased his first collection. It was full skirts and nipped in waists, and it redefined the female silhouette. The editor of Harper's Bazaar exclaimed, It's quite a revolution, dear Christian. Your dresses have such a new look. Evoque tous les prestiges de la haute couture française. Christian Dior. Dior is a huge story. There was many different talent in this company. So you have to think about this brand in a different way. I decided immediately that I have a part of my job was like to be a curator. Because in any case, there was not only Mr. Dior, but also Saint Laurent, Marc Boin, Galliano, and also Raph Simons. You have to maintain the heritage because the heritage is timeless. But at the same time, you have to transform this heritage in something that is really connected with your time. How do you tap into that millennial point of view? Uh, I have two kids, so 23 <laughs> and 20. My studio is full of guys in between 20, 25. They teach me a lot, honestly. 
they give I when I speak with them I understand many things about the moment if you want to be uh, connected with your time you have to speak with them I have a big passion for what I do. I want to do the best for the, this brand and for women. I think uh, uh, I take care of the other women. <laughs> uh, and that's what I want to do, that's it.